Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, you might recognize this guy over here uh, from the last fishing video. This is uh, my brother Ken Johnson. Uh, Ken is a, uh, besides being a fisherman, a hunter, uh, <laughs> a smart guy. Now, when we counted the fish the other day, I got him to, to count them because he got college. He has a master's degree. Uh, he is a, I won't say where he works, because he might not like that. But <laughs> but he, uh, he's he got one of those high-level high jobs. Uh, All-around good guy. My friend. My buddy. Uh, you got that check ready, right? Yeah, I got the check ready. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Ken is a artist. What he does on his um, uh, part-time business is uh, he paints feathers. Um, most of them are turkey feathers and, you know, feathers that you buy. I uh, like this one here. Stuff like this. I call him Maynard. Yeah, Maynard the uh, Hogzilla. Now, what we're going to do is, since it's coming up on Christmas time, um, I know I sell a lot of knives at Christmas, but knives are not for everybody. Everybody's always looking for a handmade gift. So, um, I'm going to partner up with Ken, and we're going to try to sell some of his paintings. Now, all of these paintings are professionally framed and matted. Um, when, once he gets the, the painting done, he takes them out to... Uh, it's here in Milton, isn't it? Yeah, just, just outside of Milton. It's a local frame shop, and uh, it has glare-resistant glass as well. So everything is ready to go into a gallery if I so choose. Yeah, and he does have some things. You still got some things up at the Dragonfly, don't you? Uh, no, I, I pulled out of there, but I, I used to be in a gallery at the time. Yeah, okay. And I know he enters, well, he used to enter things at the fair every year. Right. Yeah, we both entered some stuff in the fair one year, and I got a little ribbon that says, uh, what is this thing? We're glad you were here. <laughs> Mine didn't do anything, but... uh. But anyway, well, what we're going to do, we're going to show you all some of these, and we're going to tell you the price, and then we'll tell you how you can get a hold of Ken and, and order some of this kind of this stuff for Christmas. And see, we saw that one. That is... Yeah. This is Hogzilla, or Maynard as I call him. Maynard the Hogzilla. And that one runs... $250. Yep, yeah, $250 plus shipping. Mm -hmm. And Ken will let you know... Now, all, all the money and the shipping and the order itself goes through him. Nothing yeah. goes through me. Um, he'll get a quote from the post office and let you know how much the shipping is. Because it's not like wrapping up a knife in in bubble wrap because of the glass and everything. It's got to be sent properly. And I think you said, what, UPS or FedEx? Something along that line. We'll use a, a definitely a professional carrier. We'll make sure it's um, handled properly. Uh, the shipping, of course, will be a little bit more because of that. And also, the different sizes of the frames will add different weight to it as well. So, that's the reason for that. Okay. Well, we're going to show you a few of them. There's that one. Can we set it over here? Yeah, if you don't mind. And Maybe I won't drop it. <laughs> now, matter of fact, one of these is hanging on my wall. He gave my wife one. Uh, for Christmas two or three years ago. Mm -hmm. It's a turtle, a sea turtle, because she likes turtles. Now there is, what do you call that one? Deer. <laughs> a deer. <laughs> deer was, was that lightning bolts? Yeah, lightning. I went through a lightning phase. That is absolutely beautiful. And let's see, let me move the camera. Let me see. I did one similar to this of an eagle in a lightning storm, and I write books. I, I write about restorative justice and conflict and my my publisher she loved it so much that she put that that painting on the cover of my newest book so uh, there's only a few of these left i only did just a handful of lightning phase uh animals but this is definitely one of them the buck in the lightning storm see i told you all he was smart he can write too <laughs> hey i won a few awards so that's not bad yeah All right, the next one is, I like this one myself. Let's see, move a little bit closer. Okay. Let's see. 
There is a Florida blue crab right there. That is just, that's pretty right there. That is on a, that's a simulated eagle feather is what that is. Right? No, no, this is turkey feather. Oh, turkey feather? Yes, oh, okay. this is turkey feather. All these are on uh, turkey feathers. Okay, and this is another one of the $250 ones. Okay. Got one more. And this one, I get a lot of people that they like this. Oh, that's cool right there. See the cat? No. Panther. Panther. Florida Panther. Florida Panther. Not a black Florida Panther, which I don't care what they say. They, they do exist. I saw a picture of <laughs> one the other day. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Anyway, the Florida Panther, that is the $250 range as well. Right. And then these are usually um, off of the tail feather. Uh, some of them will be off the wing, but they're the larger feathers, so that's the reason for the price because you have to add more weight, more everything when you get a bigger feather. The next line is um, a little bit smaller feathers, but they're all turkey. So um, this is the next step down. Yeah, let's see, bring that one in this, close. This is on a plume feather. It's a manatee, Florida manatee. Isn't that nice? That is just beautiful. So, and they call that a plume feather. It's on the tr it's on the tail part of the bird. Now, this is also on the tail part of the bird, and this is a turkey. How cool is that? Look how look at the detail on that thing. I don't see how he sits there and does that, but uh. Very, very nice. Now these are the $200 range. Yes, those are $200 range. Um, because you're, you got less expenditures with the framery um, with, with them and because you're dealing with a much smaller feather in general. And then this is a new process that I'm doing. So, this right here is a little beach bird, and yeah, looks like a kill deer. Mm-hmm. Looks very similar to it. Yeah. Um, uh, I can't remember what they call them, but they run a little sandpiper type deal. Yeah. Uh, I took a picture of it, and so I, I painted this uh, one day. Yeah, they run up and down the beach around here, and they uh, they eat sand fleas and the little tiny crabs that we got running around and. We, we got coquina clams too that they'll get. Yeah. The coquina clams, they're, they're multicolored. And what's funny is Florida is America's first city. And so this is the breeding area for coquina clams. And then as they die, their shells are taken around the peninsula of Florida and go over to St. Augustine, which is America's oldest city and America's second city. And there it forms these big giant rocks called Coquina Rock, and that's what they built the fort out of. So it's you know it's kind of neat that the first city is where we breed them, second city is where they actually get the rock for it. And um, I, so they, that's part of the things that they eat off of. Okay, let's get a good look at this one. Okay, tell us what this one is. Okay, this is sea turtle. Um, okay. He's eating on a um, a jellyfish. And you can't really see it probably where you're at, but there's also some little fish in the background. I try to put as much detail on these pictures as I can. Like I said, this is a new process that I'm doing where I do a cover overlay. So um, basically, if you wanted a painting not this one per se, but something else, I could do one and make it any color you want it and then personalize it. So if you have a certain color in your house and you won't do it for decorative purposes, we could definitely set up something like that because I do, I do paintings on commission as well. Yeah, Janine sees that one. She's going to want that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she loves them turtles. Whoop. That's fine. Don't break it, Ricky. All right, now I know somebody that just needs that one right there. 
I know uh, two or three coon hunters that would like that one. Um, by the way, the cover overlay, that's $175 for those. This one right here is not the cover overlay. This is a single mat. The others that you see, or that you've already seen, um, are double matted. The double matting is where you have another layer of uh, paper backing, and it kind of frames it in better. This is single, and so for that reason, these are 150 Hey, that's nice. That's beautiful right there. And the frame on this one I chose to make it look kind of like a old um, reeds or cane from uh, around the water where the raccoon be from. Or yeah, as we right. say around here, cane. Yeah, river cane. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then this right here, dolphins. They're not porpoises, they're dolphins. Yeah, the flipper dolphin. Yes. Now, porpoise is a whole different fish. And what we call, if you hear anybody anywhere say that they like to eat dolphins, they're not talking about this dolphin. I'm talking there's a dolphin fish, which what do they call them, Maui Mauis? Mahi Mahi, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we call those dolphins. But this is the real flipper dolphin right there. Right. And we do have those around here. We see them quite a bit, especially in the summertime. They'll get in the bays and rivers. Yep. Yeah. So. We don't have the porpoise though. Porpoise is a totally different animal. They um, have a triangular dorsal fin and they have teeth kind of like your back molars. Whereas mm -hmm. these are conical shaped teeth. So they're related to a killer whale. Yeah. But so. they're friendly. Yeah. You can, get, you can get out and swim with them if yeah. you want to. If you're lucky enough to for them to stay close enough by. Right. Let's see. Right there. That's it. Okay. All right, now, how to order these. Um, what I would like y'all to do is go to, I'll leave a link to uh, Ken's Facebook page. He has a feather painting Facebook page. If you don't Facebook, whoop, if I could hit in the camera. If you don't Facebook, you can, um, I'll leave his email address also. And the only thing I ask is, if you want one, if you want to order one, just say, Ricky sent me. And that's all you got to do. Because all the billing, the shipping, and all that's going to go through Ken. Um, because he knows how to handle these things. I just wrap them up in a big wig bag and send it to you. And, you know, that might not work out. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, all of it goes through him. And all of it supports his... <coughs> excuse me. All of it supports his habits. Habits are fishing, hunting, you know, gasoline, that kind of stuff. <laughs> but, um, and if you can't get a hold of him, get a hold of me, because I'll have this price list with me. We got everything wrote down. And remember, Christmas is coming up. You fellas, y'all don't want to buy your wife a, a knife. A lot of y'all don't, because she might get after you with it. But, um, she would just love something like this. Uh, ladies love this kind of stuff. I like it too. I like the crab and the manatee especially. That's my favorites. And the coon. But, uh, oh, I know a lady that would, should buy her husband that coon one. I won't mention any initials, but it's up in Georgia. Mm -hmm. And that's all I'll say. So, <laughs> But, um, all right, well, like I said, I'll leave a link to Ken's Facebook page and his email. Mosquitoes in the shop. And what else, Ken? That, what else you want to add? That'll do it. Thank you for your support. And um, I look forward to hearing from y'all. Yep. Remember, Christmas is coming, so don't don't dilly dally. Get it so we can get it uh, shipped out to you and have it there for Christmas morning. Right. Now, thank you for watching. I thank you for your support. And wait, there you, there you go. Right, there there you go. go. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye now.